Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chris and today I'm going to teach you how to crack an SSH password. In addition, I'll be teaching you how to scan a network with Nmap and we're going to be using Nmap for a couple of reasons. One, we need to find a computer that has an open SSH service running. Two, we need to find that computer's IP address. And three, we need to find a possible username. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to place a word list on our desktop. Now if you don't have a word list or you don't know how to create one, I've uploaded two tutorials that will teach you how. One is called How to Create a Word List with Crunch and the other is called How to Password Profiling with Cup. I'll place a link in the description, check those out, create your word list, place it on your desktop and meet me back here. So once you have your word list, we need to connect to the target network. And what that means is that we need to connect to the same network as the computer that we want to attack. So if you're using Backtrack 5, you'll want to open up your WICD Network Manager. Or if you're using the new Kali Linux like I am, your Network Manager is up here in your toolbar. Simply click it and select the network in the drop-down menu. Alright, now that we've connected to the target network, we need to make note of some information. So go ahead and create a blank text file or open up a notepad. And it should look something like this. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make note of our IP address. So open up a terminal. And in terminal we're going to type ifconfig and you'll want to make note of the IP address right there. For me it's 192.168.0.11. Once you finish making note of your IP address you need to go back into the terminal and I'm going to type clear to clear it out. Now we're going to type nmap space tac lowercase s uppercase s space and then we're going to enter an IP address that shares the same format as our IP address except we're going to change the last number to a 1. So I'm going to enter 192.168.0.1 and then press space, tack, uppercase A. And what we're going to do is we're going to perform the Nmap scan and if we don't find a service we're going to increase the last number of that IP address by 1 and we're going to continue to do that until we find a computer that's running an SSH service. And for me the system that I want to attack has an IP address of 192.168.0.8 so I'm going to go ahead and change that just to make this simple and then I'm going to press enter to perform the scan. And the Nmap scan may take a little while so you need to be patient. Alright, you can see that the Nmap scan is finished. First we need to determine if our target computer has an active SSA service. So we're going to scroll through the scan results until we find the section that gives us the statuses of the different ports. And you can see there that port 22 is open and it's running an active SSA service. So what that means is that we have found our target computer. Now what we need to do is we need to look through the Nmap results and we need to find a couple pieces of information. One, we need to find a possible username. And you can see right here where it says UTF-8 server name is my computer. That's a possible username, so I'm going to make note of that. And after you've made note of some possible usernames, you're going to want to make note of the target's IP address, which for me is 192.168.0.8. So once you finish making note of those things, you need to go back into terminal. And I'm going to type clear to get that out of the way. And I'm going to type hydra space tack lowercase l space. And then I'm going to enter a possible username. For me, I believe it may be my computer space tack uppercase p space. And then we need to drag our word list file into the terminal and drop it. And then space. Then we need to enter the target's IP address which for me is 192.168.0.8 then space SSH go ahead and press enter and Hydra is performing the attack and you can see there that it found a password now if your word list doesn't contain the target's password Hydra is going to show zero valid passwords found so unfortunately that's just the risk you take when performing a brute force attack all you can really do is update your word list and continue to try so that's it guys, that's how you crack an SSH password. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.